welcome. It's time for the third episode. Now it's time to start riding bike, but you already started, Lisa. Yes, yes, we you have. did. <laughs> right. uh, I mean, we need we need to use find every hour we can to to ride, and we have done that. And we didn't have the chance to make filming, taking care of the kids and everything. But mm -hmm. we will share in this video the basic skills that that I learned you that we started from that you should start with if you've never been riding a bike. You can also practice these skills. Uh, like, I practice them sometimes. Uh, and the first one we're gonna start with is to, to start learning to use all the controls. That's really important. The clutch, the front brake, the back brake, the throttle. Mm -hmm. And a good practice to do that is to uh, use everything in the same time. And this skill you can practice like on a surface, small surface like this, it doesn't need to be bigger. Mm. Uh, I mean, what you will do is that you will use the clutch to, to adjust the speed together with the throttle. And you're also going to use the front brake and the back brake. So everything you will use in the same time and you will start like regulating the speed with help of the clutch, with help of the brakes and help of the gas. And you will also like feel, okay, I give more gas than I need to uh, use more brake. Uh, and it's a really good exercise to do. So slowly we use all the controls. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's the first thing we will do. <coughs> and the second thing is to start deciding where we're gonna put the bike. And a good thing to, to, to buy or use, you can also have, you can use stones, but we have some cones that we will use, that we will put up. And you just like basically doing the same practice as we did using the front and uh, back brake and the clutch, you start, we'll start zigzag through the cones. Mm -hmm. We start a little bit wider, then we make it smaller and smaller and smaller. So you have to control. Mm -hmm. You also, of course, in all these exercises, you need to find the balance. Mm -hmm. Standing up, finding the balance. Yes. Once you start to get this, like a muscle memory, how to use everything, then we can start to, to increase the speed. The third thing that is a really good practice to do in the beginning and also continue is the eight. Mm -hmm. So we put up an eight, we have an eight uh, here. Uh, so going, going like in an eight, uh, really good practice because then you practice cornering, you practice braking, you practice acceleration and you will see that you will find the right body balance or you need to find the right body balance to, to make it happen. So that's the three like basic training skills that we will start with and uh, when, when you control them, we can st st doing, start doing more advanced stuff. Yes. Any questions? No, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, <laughs> up to you. I bring the camera and you know what to do. The first exercise, brake clutch. And whenever I feel that I need to stop you and give you some advice, I will do that. Mm -hmm. Okay? Great. Good luck. Ner, ner broms, ner broms. Soja. Soja. Bak broms också. Not the last one. All okay? <laughs> now comes also a training part to lift up the bike. <sighs> it's really important that you like grab <sighs> the handlebar and you lift with your legs, not only the back. Really, really heavy. Use both hands. There you go, come on. <sighs> Good. <sighs> How does it feel? It feels good, but yeah. it's uh, uh it's not the easiest no. practice. No, exactly. You have to control so much thing in the same time and yeah. you have to feel the bike really. Yeah, exactly. Feel it and be focused. Yeah. And that's exactly how it is. You have many things to control at the same time. That's why you need to find the controls, what happens, where they are and so on. On the straight, I really see you use the front brake, the, the, the front goes down, uh, use the back brake and everything. 
It's mm. in the turns that you mm -hmm. really like turn with the bike, not like with your balance. Mm. And, and that's, uh, that's something we have to practice on that you like can turn. And what you can do is that you lean your butt on one of the side. Mm. So you, you like squeeze the, you, if you're gonna turn left, you put, the, you put your butt on the, on the right hand side and you start to lean the bike. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want me to show you? Uh, yes. Yeah, I can borrow your helmet and I can show exactly what I mean. In the bike like this. And we can turn really, really tight. The other way. Then we still keep the balance and we use the gas. And we can turn really, really tight like this. But still it's so much balance. Find your balance. really in front of the bike. Gotta know how the balance is. It's maybe easier if you... Uh, there she goes, she tries, she goes. Ah, uh, a uh, little bit too much speed, so... It's close, it's close. Okay, Lisa, <laughs> how's it going? This is really hard. Yeah, it is. I, it is. I need to practice more on this. Yeah. It's hard to drive slowly. It's yeah. easier to drive faster. Yeah. But this is a really good exercise to learn how to use all the controls to be able to go faster and also like get the memory in as I mentioned. But it's good practice, you do it, I mean straight you go really slow and you have good balance, it's the turning point but mm -hmm. it's a bit harder. But Very hard. Very hard, yeah. I would say. And, and to mention, you never go this slow, you will never go this slow on Gotland Wear National. It's much faster. But mm. learning this will give you control over bike and be able yeah. to like put the bike wherever you want so mm. good good practice and it's really simple to practice okay so the next one we're gonna prepare for uh, it's some cones mm. and you're gonna do the same basically the thing same thing as you did but Vanta. so now we're gonna put up some cones and you're gonna do the same thing but you're gonna go between the cones quite mm. wide okay yep great I prepare the cones yes so this exercise is about putting the bike where you decide and it, the tighter you make the cones, the harder it will be. Exactly, now she needs to control the bike. That's good, that's good. That's good, Lisa. And the last one. Ah, it's really good. No, that's good. Good. Controlled and slow. Okay, good, Lisa. How yeah. was the feeling there? This uh, is much easier for me to do. Yeah. Uh, I get more flow, yeah. but I gotta stay very focused and uh, and look ahead not yeah, exactly. on the cone I have to look on like the last yeah. cone plan your riding like mm. where is the next one and yeah yeah and that's the that's the thing with this practice to like you need to up with the up where you look and plan where you go with the bike mm. same when you're riding out on a track you need to keep where you uh, keep your eyes where you're going keep got language natural keep your eyes if someone have fall in front of you or stopped or anything that's so important that you never like look just in front of the front wheel. Mm, it's yeah. really, really good. And also, of course, like balance trading, uh, put the bike uh, with balance slowly where you want to go. And of course, you can uh, make the cones tighter and it will be even harder. Yep. Now you did, you did really good, uh, good. You went really tight. That's actually what you can do when you can like fit a bike between. When you make it tighter, you need to go more out to get the turns mm. available but yeah really good practice to to do at home uh to, yes. to uh, train up your balance and so on okay so the last exercise for what we're going to do now is the eight we have an yep. eight over there uh, and the thing with the eight is like i mentioned it's all of the moments that you you do all the things that you do when you're riding on a track you do braking you do sitting you do like cornering uh, you give gas and everything so so the eight is really really good practice 
mm. uh, to, to do. And the eight you can do, I prefer like to do uh, 20 meters between the apex, but we have a good eight over here. It's, it's a little bit longer, but you can do it longer. But the important thing is to find like one line that you stick in and you put the bike in the same, same, same line. Mm. Uh, you can start sitting in the eight and then you can start standing up between the corners. The tighter it is, the, the faster you have to do it. You can mm. start sitting and then you stand up to really do the braking and sit down and mm. do the, the cornering. Okay, good luck. Okay. Okay, Lisa, three exercises that we have trained on, or you have trained on today. Mm -hmm. uh, you finished up with the with eight. Yep. Uh, you prefer to sit down. Yeah, that's correct. To, to, even for me, on an eight like that, it goes faster because then you don't need to make the, the practice of standing up. But mm -hmm. if, once you're going to start like braking really hard and you start to get brake bumps, you need to stand up, like on a track like Gotland Grand National, always braking hard, you will need to stand up. So mm. that's a good thing to practice on day to be able to stand up. But yes, it, it goes faster if you take times on, on day to do it. Mm. And also what, what I saw is that you, like we spoke about, a little bit about the body position, that you don't lean forward as much as mm. you would need to, to stay in the line. Once you start like going faster, you will need to lean the, the body a little bit more uh, in front. Okay, yes, I'll think about that. Yeah, so, so that's mm. also something to keep in mind. Okay, sh how should you do now? <laughs> should you like yeah, start, start always to do these kind of exercises? Is that what you should focus on? No, you should do this a little bit of every exercise every time we go out practicing. Mm. Do the slow training once I'm, if you're, if you're already dressed and you're waiting on me, you can do the slow one, you can start doing turns, you can do, you, after you've finished doing a practice uh, training se uh, session, you can do the eight. Uh, mm. You can put some cones or, or take between some, some tight stones, you can do the, this thing. So always practice a little bit on these basic yeah. skills. Mm. Exactly. Yeah, how do you feel? I feel good. You feel good? Yeah. A little bit tired, little bit tired uh, but uh, still okay. Yeah. Um, a lot to think about and to practice mm -hmm. and new things to, to Yeah, do. the first uh, exercise uh, was the hardest for me. Yeah. Making it or straight, it goes okay, but when you're starting to turn, yeah. it's heavy the bike, you have to yeah. be in body control. and. Yeah, exactly. And you, move, you need to move your balance point as well. And the bike is moving, mm. so you need to Yeah, move as your you showed. Uh, yeah. I'm not there yet, but uh, I have some practice yeah. to do. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, good practice. Now, how how is the plan forward now? Uh, I don't know the exact days or weeks. We have a quite many weeks still until Gotland but uh, now we're gonna start like to uh, building up a little bit more speed stamina do a little bit longer uh, training sessions because mm. I mean Gotland is three hours long so you need to have the stamina to be able to do do Gotland uh, the yeah. three hours mm. so that that's what we're gonna focus now on uh, Great, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you guys and girls that watching this maybe learn something new, some ideas how to train. And Lisa, we will continue on training. Yes, I will. And if you have any questions or thoughts, 
Let us know. Yeah. Write a comment. Write in the comments and we answer them for you. Okay, mm. see you in the next episode. Bye.